Lipoma. A lipoma is a growth of fatty tissue that slowly develops between your skin and the underlying muscle layer. They're classified as benign growths of fatty cells. This means a lipoma isn't cancerous and is rarely harmful. Sites. Lipomas can occur anywhere on the body where fat cells are present, hence named universal tumor. But they tend to appear on the shoulders, chest, trunk, neck, thighs, and armpits. In less common cases, they may also form in internal organs, bones, or muscles. Causes. The cause of lipomas isn't fully understood. They tend to run in families, so genetic factors likely play a role in their development. Doctors do not fully understand what causes a lipoma. Some people inherit a faulty gene from their parents that can cause more than one lipomas. This is rare and is known as familial multiple lipomatosis. Researchers have also suggested that some lipomas may result from an injury that involves a substantial impact on the area. Risk factors. Most prevalent in adults between the age of 40 to 60 years. Although lipomas can occur at any age, your risk of developing this type of skin lump increases if you have a family history of lipomas. Lipomas can occur more frequently in people with specific medical conditions, such as adipocytes dolorosa or Duchamp disease, a rare disorder characterized by multiple painful lipomas. Cowden syndrome, Gardner's syndrome, Madelung's disease, benign riley rubalcaba syndrome. Other risk factors for developing a lipoma may include obesity, high cholesterol, diabetes, liver disease, glucose intolerance, clinical features. Oval-shaped lump situated just beneath the skin. Soft and doughy to touch. Slipping sign, if edge of swelling pressed, it slips under the finger. Lipomas are usually painless unless they affect joints, organs, nerves, or blood vessels. They usually grow slowly over a period of months or years and typically reach a size of around 2 to 3 centimeters. Occasionally, people have giant lipomas, which can grow to more than 10 centimeters. A variant known as angiolipoma is also more often painful than regular lipomas. In most cases, they do not cause other symptoms. However, a deep lipoma may place pressure on internal organs or nerves and cause associated symptoms. For example, a person with a lipoma on or near the bowels may experience nausea, vomiting, and constipation. Types. Classified into three broad categories. First, encapsulated lipoma, it is the commonest variety. All characteristic features of lipoma are seen in this type. Second, diffuse lipoma, rare type. No characteristic features of lipoma, hence called pseudolipoma. Third, multiple lipomatosis, many subcutaneous lipomas, painful due to involvement of nerves. This condition is also called as adipocytes dolorosa or Duchamp disease. Classification according to tissue involved. Superficial subcutaneous lipoma, most commonly occurring, just lie below skin surface. Fibrolipoma, lipoma with focal areas of large amounts of fibrous tissue. Its consistency is hard. Neural fibrolipoma, overgrowths of fibro fatty tissue along a nerve trunk, which often leads to nerve compression and pain. Angiolipoma, painful subcutaneous nodules of lipoma along with blood vessels proliferation. Adenolipoma, associated with sweat glands. When to see a doctor. A lipoma is rarely a serious medical condition. But if you notice a lump or swelling anywhere on your body, have it checked by your doctor if it's increasing in size or suddenly growing very quickly, being painful, becoming red or hot, turning into a hard or a movable lump, causing visible changes in the overlying skin. Diagnosis. Healthcare providers can often diagnose a lipoma by performing a physical examination. It feels soft and isn't painful. Also, since it's made up of fatty tissues, the lipoma moves easily when touched. In some cases, a dermatologist might take a biopsy of the lipoma. During this procedure, they'll sample a small portion of the tissue and send it to a lab for testing. This test is done to rule out the possibility of cancer. Although a lipoma isn't cancerous, it can rarely mimic a liposarcoma, which is malignant, or cancerous tumors in fatty tissues, which grow rapidly, don't move under the skin and are usually painful. Further testing using MRI and CT scans may only be required if a biopsy shows that a suspected lipoma is actually a liposarcoma. Doctors can usually diagnose a lipoma with a simple physical examination. When is removal necessary? Lipomas are usually harmless, so most people do not need to have surgery to remove them. Doctors may remove a lipoma which is cancerous, is large or growing quickly. 
causes bothersome symptoms such as pain and discomfort interferes with normal body functions causes distress for cosmetic reasons the doctor is unable to confirm as a lipoma rather than another type of tumor treatment surgical excision most lipomas are removed surgically by cutting them out under local anesthesia a small cut in the skin is made and then lipoma is squeezed out a more significant incision may be required to remove larger lipomas entirely recurrences after removal are uncommon possible side effects are scarring and bruising a technique known as minimal excision extraction may result in less scarring After surgery the doctor will usually send the lipoma material to a laboratory for analysis These types of operations will often only leave a small scar once the wound has healed Liposuction it is another treatment option since lipomas are fat based this procedure can work well to reduce its size Liposuction involves a needle attached with a large syringe to suck the mass of fatty cells The area is usually numbed before the procedure Steroid injections They may also be used right on the affected area. This treatment can shrink the lipoma, but it doesn't completely remove it. Complications: Long-standing lipoma may undergo myxomatous degeneration. It is a change in connective tissue due to accumulation of oxidizing sulfate, a glycosaminoglycan, along with decreased collagen formation. Saponification, calcification in intestines, it can cause into susception. In scalp, it can erode skull bone. In larynx, it causes stridor. Long standing retroperitoneal and thigh lipomas may undergo malignant transformation into liposarcomas.